Okay, this one, this video is, um, we're going to hardwire from the XR16 to a laptop, well a MacBook Pro, but I'm presuming for laptops it's all the same, and then we're going to leave the iPad be the Wi-Fi one, um, which I think is what everyone should do um, when they're playing, um, as the hardwired one always gives you a backup. Anyway, to do that, uh, for me, on, on my router, I've only got one LAN out. So I'm going to use one of these, um, which is a Netgear. Um, and that's five parts on it. I can go into any one of them parts in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the XR16. I'm going to send the signal to one of the parts here, right? And then I'm going to go and show you each one as I plug it in um, and then show you when I boot it up. Um, and hopefully it all works. Okay, so give us a minute. Lead. Okay, Ethernet cable, we're now taking out and we're just going into part five. I was sticking in part five from, and just, just me, you can stick it in any part you want, but I usually go part five. And then I know that is the send from the XR. On part one, okay, I'm coming out and I'm going into the router, um, just the way it is. And then on the next one, which is going to be the hard wide one for, for the uh, PC, mine's a MacBook, so I don't have an Ethernet um, out. So I've got one of these, okay. Right, so that is just uh, plugs into the USB on the MacBook. Okay, comes up with an Ethernet cable, and then that end we're going to plug into port two. So we're going to do that, and we're going to back in that. Um, what we've done here is we've plugged in that USB to the Ethernet cable, and then we've stuck it in port two. I could go in part three. It's just the way I do things. Um, so just to recap, the white lead goes to the XR16 XR um, on its Ethernet port. Okay, the black one comes around here and goes into the LAN port of the router. And then we have the red one. Okay, the, the other thing is, don't forget to turn the Wi-Fi off on on your, on your PC, laptop, just turn it off and then when you connect this, it should work. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just boot up the uh, XR app and um, see what it does. Okay, here we are. As you see, it's booted up um, and connected. And to prove it's connected, uh, I'll play the music again. On here, we're playing the music, playing the music, and um, nothing's coming out, as you can see. Right, it says connect, so we're going to connect. Uh, we're going to do mixer to PC. Uh, there you go, and there's, as you can see, there's the music playing. So we're now connected and we're now hardwired. Um, so this is great. You can leave that like that at a gig and this will sit there quite happily. Um, but I know that if you're like me, you like to go out the front and listen to certain things. So basically you will need to uh, boot this up again. And there we go. And so now we have the iPad on Wi-Fi and we have the MacBook now hardwired. Um, this setup basically is probably the way most people will, will do things. Um, so they can walk around with the iPad, set things up on the front uh, uh, of house and then come on stage and have a hardwired system just in case um, the Wi-Fi fails at any point 
uh, I played a gig the other night. Uh, the Wi-Fi in the uh, venue was super strong. Everybody had a mobile phone. It was jam-packed. No, I didn't check which channels were free on the Wi-Fi. I don't particularly have time to do that and sweep the flipping stuff. So all I do is I just hardwire in uh, the laptop. Um, and then if the, if the actual iPad goes off, well, I just come to the laptop, which is sat beside me, and we just carry on until the iPad reconnects. Um, as simple as that. Right, so that's hardwired laptop PC and Wi-Fi iPad uh, up and running. 